Hey guys, Les here, aka Gorth Balian. And one thing that you might not know is that I am the king of pop-up tents. It's actually not a title that I am proud of, but uh, I have a lot of these tents, different styles of these tents, and that's how I started essentially with these tents. So let's talk about these tents. The other day, I was watching Adam's video. He was talking about the pop-up tent. And in that video, what did I see? I saw the original roller bag that comes with the tent, okay? Different companies have different styles, but they're typically a fabric semi-rigid roller bag with cheap little casters on the bottom. So this is my big problem with those roller bags. A, typically in order to squeeze that tent into the roller bag, and by the way, this is a 10 by 10 canopy, okay? In order to squeeze this tent into the roller bag, you kind of want to take this top off. Or at least you kind of want to put this on the ground by the roller bag and roll the tent into that bag. But this is the problem. This fabric, it does not like to get dirty. It doesn't clean well, not like a marquee. And my key is very forgiving, a marquee high peak tent pole tent. The fabric of those tents is extremely forgiving, but this is a different style of fabric. It is not forgiving. So people, what ends up happening if you use those roller bags, people either lower this horizontally and try to stuff it into that roller bag, or they take this off and try to fold it up right on the grass, right on concrete, right on asphalt, right on dirt, and it completely, basically, like you don't want to rent it out anymore. That's how bad it becomes, sometimes after one or two rentals. Therefore, what we use is dust covers and it makes everything quicker and these tents actually get way less dirty because what people are do once they're done with the tent, once they fold that tent up, is they take this dust cover, nice, small, compact, cheap, so if it gets lost, whatever, you have a dime a dozen, not actually, but they're very cheap, and they just stuff it on. And it's done. It takes two seconds, maybe five, and it's done. This goes on the ground, no problem. They're not gonna put this on the ground to put this dust cover on. They're gonna leave it up vertically, okay? Just naturally, that's how it, you can tell people, I get it, you can tell people instructions how to do things, but their friend, their mom, their uncle, their sister, their brother are gonna help them out by doing this and they're naturally gonna see what makes sense. If they have the roller bag, they're gonna get that tent top dirty. So guys, I highly, highly recommend these nice dust covers. We actually take it a step further. Now this is kind of off topic from this video, but we take it a step further and we slap on our logo there. So you're branding it right there. Normally it just go, we just put it right on top of what's beneath here, which is the impact logo. And we just slap our own there with like a nice vinyl, higher quality vinyl sticker. Not, still not super expensive. The same size of sticker, we actually, again, kind of off topic, I will go back to the dust cover because I'm not done yet. We actually slap on to where the, uh, where the impact brand is there. We slap on our logo there as well. So each time this is being used, this is being advertised. It's free advertising. Now, this is what we do in the summertime, okay? Because these things are going out um, every weekend, at least every weekend. But in the winter time, let me throw this back on. Again, super, super quick. Done, okay? But in the winter time, we do completely remove the tent top, fold it up nicely, keep the frames separate. So I'll show you here. So we have some of the frames there. Some of them are broken in need of repair. And all the tops, are folded up nicely for the winter time, just so that they last longer, guys. Up here. Okay, nicely folded up. There, there is some uh, spare. This one doesn't have our logo yet. You see that it comes with the impact and we just stick our logo on there instead. Um, but yeah, we have all the, the dust covers and these nicely folded up. These actually need to be covered still. But yeah, during the summertime, if you're using this lot, don't use those roller bags because it's going to be slow if you're doing it 
and you're gonna get those tank tops dirty. Anyway, that's just a tip. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you later. Take it easy, let's get some business done.